Chair recognizes the gentleman from Oklahoma. Mr. Chairman, this is a study in unintended consequences. This body determined that they wanted to have more oversight over people that are called broker-dealers of investment funds. They would be handled the exact same way as investment advisors that handle high-end, large investments from, uh, from wealthy individuals across the country. So the two are being tried to merge together. The Department of Labor and the SEC are both trying to come up with their own version of a set of rule. Here's the unintended consequence that's coming at America. Those folks on the lower end and the middle end of America are about to lose a lot of people that help them with investment advisors. Here's how it works. Newlywed couple, just out of school, just getting started, making $26,000 a year combined as a couple. They determine they're going to do a responsible thing. They're going to also open up a retirement account and get started. Thinking about decades from now, we encourage that couple to do that, to start thinking about their retirement. Would that couple, making $26,000 a year, what they're going to put into retirement, $15 a month maybe, are they going to be attractive to an investment broker, dealer? No, they're not going to be attractive to them. It's a very small amount, $15, $20. But one of these dealer brokers, that's what they love to do. They sign up couples just like that. The rules coming down from Dodd-Frank will put a new set of standards on those individuals that are providing retirement investment opportunities for people at the very beginning of their investment time. This hits exactly the wrong people. And the benevolent thoughts at the beginning are now coming down to unintended consequences across our country, that there will actually be a disincentive to provide retirement vehicles for those on the lower and middle income. The middle income Americans should have every incentive and every opportunity to save. This simply says to the SEC, they cannot promulgate that rule. They need to set it aside same standards that are already in place. This is not an unregulated industry. They're a heavily regulated industry already. Keep the same standards in place and do not discourage investments for retirement to going into lower income and middle income Americans. With that, Mr. Chairman, I'd reserve the balance of my time.